The owner of the Coachella Music Festival denies donating to anti-LGBT groups amid all the outrage. So first of all, this report was released last year, but then it has made headlines just last week because the headliners of Coachella have been released. So this is billionaire Philip Anschutz, and he is the owner, his company rather, owns Coachella as well as a number of other things because he has an oil company, correct? Like that's where AEG's, a lot. AEG's yeah. huge. Oh, that's huge. right. AEG. AEG, exactly. So in this article, um, he denies. I mean, now that there's a lot of outrage, he is saying that this is fake news, that this is garbage news. Um, he, originally, what had happened was his foundation had given. This was this was the claim that his <coughs> his foundation had given almost two hundred thousand dollars to anti-gay conservative activists, including the Family Research Council and the Alliance Defending Freedom. Both of those groups have. Have been condemned for anti-gay rights activism, trying to strip their rights. And this is what he told Rolling Stone. So after uh, all the pushback, he released a statement to Rolling Stone magazine. And in his statement, I'll read a portion of it. He says, quote, I unequivocally support the rights of all people without regard to sexual orientation. Neither I nor the foundation fund any organization with the purpose of expectation that would finance anti-LGBTQ initiatives. He goes on to say in that statement, we have immediately seized all contributions to those groups. So that's where I'm confused. So either he's claiming that he just, that they did donate the money, but he was unaware of it, or he is just denying it, or he's just chalking it up to fake news. I don't know. We'll get into that. But also a little more background about him. So that foundation, um, they claim there's a, a lot of actual evidence showing that they gave the 200 grand to those two, the Family Research Council and the Alliance Defending uh, Fund, as well as he gave over a million dollars to very conservative candidates, candidates that do support anti-LGBT agendas, as well as he's donated to political groups like Americans for Prosperity, which opposes climate change research and regulations, and then his natural gas company has also sued small towns in pursuit of fracking rights. So I think uh, before we do our five words or less, just in your minds, think about, um, because his whole thing that he's using this excuse as a, this is fake news. So is it fake news? Is it not fake news? Thoughts, five words or less. He owns everything you like. Follow the money. Boycott Coachella. Shh, maybe, I don't know. Fake news, new excuse. I feel like people oh. are gonna start using that. People are gonna start saying, oh, it was fake, fake news, didn't do it, deny, 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 in hopes that somehow that statement will override if people then continue to push like the research proving them wrong. But then at that point, people may just forget and hear their statement that it was fake news, fake news, fake news. What I mean by follow the money is that this is a businessman, a, billion, a, a billionaire who, at the, and I always say this, and every time we talk about businesses, that money is the bottom line. You know, people want it, they want to make money, they want to stay employed, so of course he's, now that, I mean, all these allegations, come on, that's like a laundry list of things that says, yes, he was giving to these people, and yes, that he was supporting these anti-humane anti um, causes. And when people find out about this, especially with how race relations and how heightened everything is right now, they're gonna not spend, they're not gonna come to Lakers games, they're not gonna come to Clipper games, and again, that's gonna affect their bottom line. So um, I, I, I think he, he might, he, it's not fake news. He probably is guilty of this. And also you said you were confused about, well, we retracted all the money we donated. Well then, did you not know what you were giving to initially then? Because if you're that involved in your business, like I'm, ge I'm guessing he is, then you're gonna have your hand in everything. And the people that you work for are also gonna have their hand in everything. And they're gonna know exactly where their dollars and cents are being funneled. That's a, that's a great point. So, so uh, Grace, do you think that this is uh, him chalking it up to, oh, it's fake news and denying it? Or do you think it really is fake news? How do we get to the bottom of it? Well, I, I don't think it really matters either way because I think that throwing out the term fake news in a lot of stories where we are saying it's fake news really clouds the actual issue, which is that most of the things that you like that you are consuming uh, within our generation are being run by billionaires, by like a, a one percentage, a very small percentage of the people uh, in this country, by, by business. He's a, he's a one time Kansas uh, billionaire oil tycoon guy, but he's also trying to build one of the largest wind farms in the world, but he's also against climate change. It's just, I mean, Jason, you make a good point. It's just money talks. And it's by saying it's fake it's news. It's all business and, to him. Right, it's all business. And by saying, is it fake news? Is it not fake news? Is not really getting to the core issue. Oh. 
which is that uh, what we need to be aware of the, the businesses that are running what we consume. And if you don't like what he's funding or you don't like that Coachella isn't just like a indie hippie music festival, it's run by one of the biggest companies in America, um, or I mean in the world, actually the world over, um, we then you should you know look into going to independently financed music festivals and change that. But if you can't just boycott Coachella, that does nothing. What you can do <gasps> that was my five words. Uh, no, what, what what could be effective though is to uh, make your go to Coachella and make your voices heard that you want changes to be made because you don't want to punish the people that are being employed by Coachella because it's not them, it's him. So by saying Coachella is the problem, Coachella isn't the problem here. You need to be looking at the bigger picture of who is running these companies, who are the people sort of that hide behind this money that are funding basically everything that we know and love. Well, you can also try to find allies like the bands at Coachella. That's and reach true. out to them and have them, if not boycott it, then make it known what they want to do. Maybe try to convince certain bands that are uh, currently slated to go on Coachella or the same kind that you would expect to be on Coachella to perform in like, not Indio, but like Palm Desert. Mm -hmm. Just like down the street so to give everybody true. an alternative, so or do true. what I do every time I've been to Coachella, which is like stand near the venue and listen, but don't go in because it's free that way. Ooh. Uh, or find people who are renting houses and don't go to the concerts, but rather just stay at the house in the pool the whole time. So Ooh. fun. Ooh. People, so good. Watch people the are NFL fake draft. news. I don't know if, uh, yeah. Because um, Beyonce, Kendrick Lamar, who were huge, huge Hillary supporters, are, are the headliners for and Radiohead are the headliners for Coachella 2017. So they're saying, well, this can't be true if Beyonce is going to be performing there because she was such a staunch supporter and you know with her whole narrative and stuff. So. Um, that could very well be uh, an issue. But also, AEG, the company that he owns, people, that company produces a lot of the tours you go see. Taylor Swift, J-Lo in Vegas. Yes. They own O2 Everything. Arena London. I mean, AEG, you always hear it brought to you by it's, AEG. It's so I will say, though, I will say, uh, I like, I want to read a statement from Matt McTie, executive director of Freedom for All Americans. And he says this, quote, it's encouraging to see that even those who funded groups opposed to LGBT equality in the past are willing to change their views and come around to opposing discrimination. So he believes that all this pushback is actually whether or not, uh, you know, Philip Anschutz is saying that this is garbage. At least he did release that statement, whether it was to save his own publicity, but to say that he unequivocally supports the rights of all people. I do like that uh, Matt McTige or McTige is trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. And is trying to say, and I know, no. I know that this is self-preservation probably from Philip Anschutz and his company, but I do think that it's important to hopefully see that maybe people that may have staunch points of views at one point doesn't mean that later on that they can evolve and change those points of views. Well, That's right. my hope. And then also just, I would encourage everyone to be aware of where you're spending your money because if you are upset with the causes that he's supporting, then you need to be aware of where you're putting your money because the, our our generation of music festivals and Instagram and you know social media and touring and all this stuff that we, we is, a lot of times it's lining the pockets of people that you might not necessarily agree with. So do a little bit of research because this shouldn't have been groundbreaking News that AEG and uh, their what was his name? Uh, Philip, Philip Anschutz. Philip Anschutz. I kind of just Anschutz. wanted to hear you say that. You? Again, Sam. <laughs> um, it, it shouldn't be groundbreaking news that you might not agree with his politics. And if you don't, and if you feel so strongly about it, instead of going to social media and being angry and be like, I can't believe Beyonce would do this. Don't educate buy. yourself. Yeah, and don't buy. They market our generation. They market what we are, what we want to buy and sell, and what we want to, you know, what we're into. So don't let Philip Anschutz be a tastemaker here. All right, <laughs> Sam. Yeah. I. I, yeah. um, I don't I um, echo what you said about you know you're about giving him the benefit of the doubt too because it's, again at the end of the day that's what we're all preaching in 2017 and throughout 2016 it was like fine you're a fuck up but if you're willing to change and willing to open your eyes and see the better and the good and everything then hey I guess you can come and have yeah. have subway with us. He you know? said that he canceled his contributions to those so-called uh, organizations and perhaps if people continue to follow his money perhaps we'll see his money going to more inclusive organizations. That's the goal. AEG yeah. just to give you an idea idea of how widespread they okay. are. Gigi Hadid's full name is A-E-G-G -G Hadid. Oh my god, Wait, that's amazing. She's owned by she is. A E G. <laughs> no. Okay. Some more you know. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger. <laughs>